In this video we'll be looking at submissions. I'll go to assignments 5.3 and you'll see some directions for the assignment in 5.3. The way you open the assignment is this link here at the bottom. When I click on that link it'll ask me to sign in. That's because uh, I'm on a phone with dual accounts so I'll I'll need to put in my email address my count my the new comfsm.edu.fm address is the address that I'm going to have to use and then say next And after entering, after entering my password uh, and pressing next again, I'll come to this screen. I'll say, make a copy. And because I'm a test student, it's, yeah, it took me a while, sorry, but because it's just now, I'm not actually in my editable copy yet. See at the bottom of my screen, it says Edit with the Sheets app. Use the app. Depending on your bandwidth, your speed, weather conditions here in Micronesia, the rate at which things load may differ. Now, this is my file. There's where I can start working on my homework. Start putting in some of... Yeah, what is this, some of these? That should be pretty easy some of those values up there okay and I work my homework at this point I'm working in a copy I don't have to make a copy I did that earlier on took a moment I have to be patient you can see here the name of my file is copy of 5.3 relative frequency homework I can change that if I want to and I'm going to add a a little uh, front end to it to so I can distinguish this particular copy if I need to but the one thing I'm going to have to do to submit it is I'm going to have to go to three dots share and export once I finished it uh, sorry I'll, I'm on Android my apologies I'll have to press check on the upper left I sometimes switch so many systems I forget the way to do it. Press the X and come back to uh, I'm in mode. I've got to get back to that file from the Sheets app. So what I'm going to do is drop out of Canvas all together. Come down to my desktop. I've got a couple ways I can go. I can get back at that file from Drive and that's one option. And from here uh, I can pull that file up, look for the, I've got lots of, co I've got plenty of copies of things, but here it is at the bottom, so I gave it a special name, and use the three dot menu here, scroll down, and I can download the file from here, that's one option, the other option I have is to go to my Sheets screen, my Sheets app, if I don't have the Drive app on board, I can use the Sheets app, and here at least it's at the top of my screen, the order it's in will depend on sorting of things up here. But um, if I want to download that, I simply go to this menu here again and download it. So a couple of ways to get it downloaded, but I do have to download it. Now I'm going to return to Canvas, which I'd already gotten back to, and click on Submit Assignment at the bottom. File Upload. That's the key. Device. Start looking through my device. There they are. There's two copies. I just downloaded two. They're both PDFs. That's an ideal format for uploading. And so I'll submission submit at the upper right and it will upload that file. And there it is. Oh, confetti. Close that. You can see I'm doing this for the first time. I'm coming out of uh, my. Uh, student mode back into 
my instructional canvas just to show you what it looks like in my sandbox course assignments 5.3 one needs grading that's coming in from the test student and so I can go ahead and see the submissions if I wish they're going to be over here the test student open that up and here's uh, Here's what I'll see, and I can zoom that, check the answers, see that they're mostly blank. I slide this guy up and down. I can see, okay, that's uh, that's a, that's not that good a grade on that guy, so we'll see where we're going to go. Oh, one. <laughs> one right. <laughs> that's all they're going to get out of that. But I can make comments here. Uh, do the rest. Resubmit. Send a comment to the test student. If I want to get back to the file, it's not real obvious how I do that here. This thing is, an, uh, is like we used to call it an old window shade. You use your finger up at the comments area where that little gray bar is, and then you can drag it down. And for moving out the keyboard, at the bottom left, there's a little down arrow so I can actually get rid of the keyboard. Uh, so it's a little little subtle, but I can use this to move between screens on my test student. Go back and see the file, go back and make any comments I need to make. That's a little bit of how it looks from my end. You may see similar interface features depending on when you go back to look at an assignment. You might see something similar to this where you have a, a window shade. And there my test student is marked, and that's what it's like. So again, the key is make that copy. You may need to enter a, a password, but in subsequent runs, you probably will not have to. Uh, that will depend. And I may be getting an interaction with the fact that I'm running in this anonymized student view and that that's what causes me to wind up having to... Uh... Hey, look, it showed me my grades in the course so far not that good so as I run back through this to do a resubmit now again I can't I don't want to make a copy if you are going to resubmit uh, do not run through this link again you'll make a new copy and you'll have to start over from scratch so again the key to getting back to your file is to run through sheets or drive to get back to your copy Sheets or drive. And that's the way to get back to the copies that you want to want to access. Sheets or drive. In fact, I've got. I seem to have generated a number of copies of the file. These are copies. I know where these. I think I. Well, yeah. Shared. Well, interesting. Plenty of copies I've made to date. <laughs> So that's a look at the uh, mobile version of this uh, particular mobile make a copy. Uh, you'll have to do as I did, fumble your way through it a little bit, but uh, it does automatically trigger a copy, so you don't have to go and do file make a copy. That's made from the get-go. You may have to be patient on a slower link as I'm on this morning.